can an antimatter bomb destroy the sun? If yes, then how much antimatter would we need and how much will be the cause? This is a very interesting question. Nobody has ever asked me. <laughs> so antimatter is, is just like regular matter, but it has all the quantum numbers flipped. So the charge is reversed. The quantum numbers are also reversed. Okay, it's, if it's one, then it's minus one. So that sort of thing. So antimatter. So your regular uh, fundamental particles, matter of particles, have antimatter counterparts. The electron has the positron. Electrons in the regular world they have a negative electric charge and a certain amount of mass. Positrons have the same mass, but the opposite electric charge. And then you have antiprotons, antineutrons. Even neutrons are negative, neutral, but they have an antineutron and so on. So that's how it goes. <laughs> that's antimatter. So uh, when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other with a gigantic release of energy. And the energy that is emitted is, it follows this good old relation, E equals mc squared. Um, now, if you were to shoot antimatter into the sun, it would certainly annihilate. So the sun gives off a solar wind, which is plasma. So if you if you shoot antimatter, let's say a gram of antimatter towards the sun, it will come in contact with the plasma, it will blow up. Boom. So one, so once it, it uh, comes in contact with cumulatively a gram of plasma, it will disappear in, in the form of energy, primarily photons. So to destroy the sun, you would have to essentially send antimatter all the way into the core of the sun and a significant amount of antimatter. And then it will explode, annihilate. So I think you'll have to do some calculations, but it, it is not a trivial amount. If you send an Earth-sized amount of antimatter into the sun, then it could definitely seriously disrupt the star. But probably not destroy it. Disrupt it, but not destroy it. What about Jupiter? Even Jupiter is not even 1% of the mass of the sun. So maybe 0.4. 3 or 0.4 percent of the mass of the sun, Jupiter. A Jupiter sized amount of antimatter, if you slam it into the sun, it will certainly explode, come in, con come in contact with the solar material, explode, disrupt the sun, cause all kinds of uh, perturbations, but it still won't destroy the sun. So I think roughly to destroy the sun, you would need to <laughs> use antimatter that is of the order of magnitude of at least 0.1 solar masses, if not of the order of magnitude of the sun itself, the solar mass itself. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not doing any actual calculations. I'm just doing it, uh, you know, back of the envelope of my mind. But I think you would need the amount of antimatter that's roughly equivalent to the mass of the sun. I'm not sure where you would find that. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, it's very interesting question actually. This this kind of question should actually be asked in in physics exams to to gauge the amount of creativity and the kind of conceptual uh, hold grasp you have on physics. It's it's an estimate you're asking for, not exactly how much antimatter, which is very interesting. So great question. Maybe I'll actually do some calculations and come back with this next time. 